Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial from scratch and this is part 28 of this video session series in which we are going to discuss about how can we create table while plugin install and when we deactivate or uninstall our plugin then how can we delete the table from the database. Okay. In the last video session, we had discussed about several things in our custom plugin like my book, which we are going to create in this video session series. And the things that we had seen so far is about that how can we introduce our plugin with the help of comment section, as well as we have defined our constant sections, and also you can see that we have linked our assets file like CSS and JavaScript libraries and as well as we have created our menu section okay so far we have done several things for our custom plugin like my books so in this video session we are going to create a table when we activate our plugin my book okay so let's back to administrator panel and here is the plugin that we have made so far my book which contains two sub menus like book list and add menu okay just i'm going to click on this and this is the page, PHP file that I have attached with this with sub menus and with add menu and this is also a PHP file okay so in in case of table generation let's make a table manually into it like suppose we are going to create a table something called WP my books okay and let's say it's contain about six fields and just press go let's say id it contains its name about sorry it's say author here author okay and here is something called about and here is book image and finally we need to make a created date when we have created book okay created at and the data type should be in case where care its length should be something 255 author is also where care length suppose 255 and about section is contains the description of the book so it's about the text and book image also text because it contains the url of the image okay and created at should be something like timestamp and the default value of created at is something created timestamp okay and uh, all these values by the way contain null values so that's why i am checking the null section and the id section should be the primary key okay so let's check auto increment yep and here is the primary key okay just i'm clicking on save it creates our table manually okay as we can see wp my books okay so just i am going to copy this table name just you have to copy this table name go to sql and here i am writing so let's do that so create table and here is the table name that is wp my books which we have created okay and just press control enter Control enter or you can say go. Okay, just start clicking on go. Here is the script. Okay, just click on options, full text. Okay, and go. Here is a script, guys, that we need to copy. Okay, just you need to copy this script and just I am done copy and let's say paste it here for now. Okay, and let's zoom back. So here is the script that we have created by the help of our manual table which we have created okay so go to database again and drop that table let's say i'm dropping this table here because we have created this table manually but we need to create this table by on plugin activation means dynamically we want to create this table okay so here is the script ready for that so let's go to our editor and make a function like public sorry it's not a class simple function my book 
table okay and let's say here global WPTB and return WPTB prefix and here is the table name okay so the table name that we have provided like my books just copies only my books okay and paste within this course now what actually this function returns this function returns that WPTV prefix meaning WP underscore okay and my books as it is my books so here is the table name that we want to create okay so this function returns this table name only okay and WPTV is the global object so now let's say function my book generates table script okay and now we need to bind this function with register activation hook add action or you can say register activation hook okay and here is the current file that we want to give and next the function name okay just we need to copy of that and paste it here so all we have done now we have made a function basically returns the table name and here is the function which basically contains the script that we have copied so far to create our table and this is the activation hook like register activation hook which will be fired when we activate our plugin okay and this is the function name now the next thing we need to declare a global object here WPTV okay and now we need to attach a file for the table creation script okay and the file that we need to include in this function is something called WP admin with an includes folder and here it is upgrade.php okay here is the file upgrade.php okay so this file should be included in this function to generate or to run our script that we have copied or created table okay so let's say require events and here is the absolute path okay abs path of wordpress and here is wp admin slash includes and within wp admin includes and here is the file name that is upgrade.php okay so upgrade dot php that's it we have included that file and finally we need to create a variable like where sql sorry it's sql only which contains our script here and finally we need to run by the help of db delta method okay db delta function and here is the sql as a variable that we have created okay so just go to our notepad plus plus and here is the script that we have made just copy this script and within this course just paste it here okay so all we have done now we have created our table script we have included that script within a function called table script here we have included a file and finally by creating a sql we have attached with this sql variable with tv delta function okay and now finally we have to run this my books page okay so go to back to our app plugin sections let it uninstall first okay and currently we have only let's say about 14 tables in our database okay so just i am deactivating that plugin first so just click on deactivate and now activate plugin again just click on activate okay plugin activated so let's refresh this page once more so here we can see 15 tables are now because we have generated my books table from our dynamic script okay just click on a structure section and here is the structure section that we have created okay so let's say uninstall once more just click on deactivate and let's say install again okay activate so when we refresh this database then we might see 
15 tables okay so it's all already done guys now this is our script that we have attached with this action hook register activation hook and this activation hook will fire when we have actually installs our plugin okay so and here is the script that we have created so by the help of two functions only that my book table and my book generates table script so where we have used this function just copy this name okay just make copy of that and here is a script that requires the table name so just get rid of the static name okay and within double quotes here is the function that we need to provide okay so by the help of this function that we have created which basically returns the table name what we have seen okay and now we include this function within this create table script which basically contains a table okay so without using this function we need to give the table name as a static value but by using this function the table name should be dynamic okay so just drop this table once more here and let's uninstall plugin once more deactivate and finally activate that plugin okay so let's refresh this page now we have the same table again okay so this is how guys we can create a my wp my books table with the help of a dynamic script by using our plugin activation mode okay so also we want that in this video session that how can we drop our table on plugin deactivates or uninstall means when we uninstall when we uninstall plugin from by clicking on deactivate button then how can we delete that table from this database okay so let's make a another function for that so just i am making like function drop table plugin okay something of function name and now register deactivation hook okay so this is the hook that you need to fire deactivation hook and it also requires the current file where is actually the script has written and finally the function name okay just copy this name and paste it here okay so you need to keep in your mind that this is register activation hook and this is register deactivation hook okay so let's make a small script here which basically de deletes uh, our table from the database like global wptb wpdb okay and now let's say wpdb here is the query of method and finally the drop query like drop table if exists okay drop table if exists and here's the table name the table name should be we have made the dynamic function for that okay just you need to copy this function name go to your script and paste here okay all we have done now drop table if exists and here is the table name okay so we have successfully attached a uh, activation hook in which we are going to create a table and also deactivation hook in which we are going to delete this table okay so just save this file and uh, let's deactivate this table just taking our table now now just scroll down and here we have 14 tables because we have dropped the table from the database okay so let's again activate this plugin to check click on activate okay so if we refresh this structure section then we might see 15 tables because we have added wp my books table while our plugin activates okay so let's uninstall that plugin again so just refresh this page and now we have 14 tables so that's good our script is running fine we have created two functions one installing database table and one dropping database table okay 
also another guys a uh, small means activation hook is also which fires actually when we delete this plugin okay so in case when we want that we want to drop this table we want to drop this table what we have created by the help of a script we want to drop this table when the plugin delete from this plugin list when the plugin delete from this plugin list not in case of plugin uninstall means we want to keep our table into this database when the plugin deactivates but in case when someone delete this plugin from this plugin list then we want to drop this table okay for that we have the activation hook like register uninstall hook okay and it also requires file okay and here is the function name okay like drop table plugins books okay here is the function name so basically what is the difference between these two activation hook the register deactivation hook will fire when we deactivate our plugin from this plugin list means it will fire when we click on the deactivate button okay but register and un uh, uninstall hook will fire when we click on the delete button okay so by clicking on delete button we will delete the table from this database okay else it will be there so this is guys how we have seen about the table creation and as well as drop from this small script in this video session okay so in next video session we are going to learn further in our custom my book plugin okay so if you have any questions in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day